Okay, so a quick unboxing of the Central Pneumatic uh, 10 gallon air compressor. Anybody who knows anything about air compressors is probably screaming right now, but <laughs> this is what I could afford, so this is what I got. Um, mo most importantly, uh, it's, it's definitely a step up from what I currently have, which is a one gallon nothing kind of thing that barely fills tires. Um, it's 10 gallons, 125 working PSI, I'm guessing that's probably going to be closer to 100. Uh, 2.5 running horsepower. I'm not sure why that they even bother putting that on there. It's really unimportant in the grand scheme of things. This is why I got it. 5.3 SCFM at 90 PSI. I have very few power tools, just some that I've collected over the years, and they all require 5 CFM at 90 PSI. This probably won't deliver the full 5.3, but it'll be close enough. And 6.2 at 40. 89 dB, so that's pretty loud, but it is what it is. 120 volts, so standard AC outlet, and, you know, North America AC outlet, so no special wiring there. Uh, it says it's perfect for air tiring and light woodworking. Uh, intermittent uses uh, heavy nailing, hobby paints, automotive repair, woodworking, and you shouldn't use it for heavy auto restoring, so running in. Um, um, air sander, for example, it's just not going to work for that. I mean, it'll the air, all the air will be out of the tank in two seconds, basically. It is an oil uh, air compressor, so I did pick up some. Um, I did pick up some oil for it. So, um, I think uh, what we're going to do is uh, open it up and see what's inside, and be right back. Okay, and here it is, unboxed. We have these two wheels, which go over there, and the bolts for them, which are right here. Um, so these are going to be a pain to get out of this styrofoam, just so you know. Let's have a screwdriver handy. It does come with some oil. So 30 weight, uh, non-detergent, uh, Compression oil, uh, compressor oil, the handle. Uh, the instructions say to fill it up with oil to the full line, plug it in, put something here to let the air out, open both valves so that all the air escapes, and run it for a half an hour, and then change the um, air compressor oil after an hour. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, so, uh, it also comes with an air filter, so this will go right there, so that'll be next. Uh, so I'm going to put it all together and get it ready, and just before I plug it in, I'll, I'll come back and show you what it looks like and where we're at. Okay, so again, this is just a boxing and a quick review. Uh, a couple months, I'll do a full review of it, <clears throat> let you know how it performed and how it worked. Interestingly, on the package it says that uh, it would be okay to use with an air impact wrench, for example, intermittently. But according to the package on this central pneumatic, pneumatic uh, air impact wrench, if you have a 7 to 25 gallon uh, compressor that runs at 5 CFM at 90 PSI, uh, you can run it, uh, oh, what's it say exactly, continuously. So kind of conflicting there. Uh, the air compressor packaging says you can't, that says you can, time will tell. The instructions say to plug it in and let it run and let the air escape and let it run for a half an hour to break it in. So I just took one of these deals, put it on here and we'll let it run and then I'll come back and show you how it works with the tool. It does not come with an air hose, luckily I have a short piece of you know, 10 to 15 foot air hose that I can use with it um, just to kind of test it out. And uh, so, well, you know, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, let me plug it in. You can get a kind of an idea of what it sounds like. There is a circuit breaker back here. So if it trips, you just press that. This is the on button. It's loud. It's not as loud as my other compressor, but not by much. 
Alright, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Half hour later. <clears throat> this is piping hot right in here. It has a nice uh, fan going along this way. So you want to make sure it's clear in front of this and behind it for, up to, I'd say up to a foot, just six inches for sure, um, just so that the airflow flows across it. Um, it takes, it took, uh, oh, about two, two and a half minutes to fill from completely empty to where it shuts off. It took about, I don't know, two and a half minutes. So that's not too bad. And it's loud, but doesn't make me want to rip my ears out loud, so that's good. Um, tested it with my little, uh, so it's certainly strong enough to power that. Um, we'll see if it can get the full, uh, this, ha this um, tool uh, basically has uh, 275 foot-pounds of torque, which is ridiculously little given that electron uh, cordless ones today can do up to a thousand foot-pounds of torque, but it is what it is. So we'll see um, if it powers it. Uh, first order of business for me on this, right there. Those are two struts for my car. My car has <clears throat> over 115,000 miles and it's eight years old and those bolts are not going to be easy to get out. So it'll be a good test for it. So couple of notes on this um, there's no filter here and there really should be so I'm gonna see if I can get one now this ran for a half hour got stupid hot but not so much that I couldn't touch it it hasn't been off that long and you know you can touch it it's hot but it, you can touch it so that's good you know it could be worse the tank is definitely warm to the touch so um, but again it ran for a half hour we normally wouldn't do that so do not touch this. <laughs> I can tell you right now that sucker is hot. Very, very hot. And we're sitting, I don't know if you can see it, but from what I can tell, it looks like it's maybe 110 PSI. Um, certainly not the 125 they had claimed. I think 125 would be right there. Um, so, because that's 150. That's 90, so somewhere in the middle, I would think. So it's close, but it's not It's not the 125, which I knew. They're, they always fib on that a little bit. So that's it for now. Uh, like I said, I'll do a more, you know, uh, how's it working kind of thing in a couple months after I've used it for a while. And we'll see how it holds up. So if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the, under the video and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not an expert, obviously, so, <laughs> you know, I, I will do what I can. All right.